Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's on-page SEO video, I would like to walk you through the painted desert method or technique, a strategy to help you maintain your optimization levels. You see, when we're talking about on-page SEO, I feel that Google is not looking at the overall optimization, but I feel that they are looking at the optimization of particular sections. And this brings me to the painted desert technique or method. So what I mean by a painted desert is if you take a look at this bottle here, and I will walk you through the method, so stick with me. But if we take a look at this bottle here, this is the type of bottle that you would get at a carnival or you're playing a game and your children would maybe put, or even yourself, would put the color sands inside of the bottle, making a painted desert. Just like when you're looking in the horizon at a desert mountain and you see the different layers and the colors. This brings me to the way to visualize a method. So I want to walk you through this step by step because this will certainly help your over or under optimization of sections. All right. And if we were to name these colors, we could say that the first layer would be a red color. And this would be one. We're looking at the URL. Is there a keyword in the URL? Are there co-occurring words within the URL? And what are we weighing this against? How can we make a decision on what Google wants to see? Well, Google is actually showing us within the SERP, the search engine results, their top 10 ranking pages. Now, they're either there for one of two reasons, or actually one of three reasons. It's either they're really strong with their on page, they're really strong with their off page, and where we want to be is strong with both. So once we hit that top position, we can maintain it. So the goal here is once we can take care of our technical, our speed and our site and all of those elements, we need to lock down our on page and we need to be optimized in every single section. And that's what I'm going to walk you through today. So you're not over and you're not under. So when we're looking at this, we're looking at, okay, if the first layer of our painted desert is the URL, all right, is literally a section that needs to be optimized by itself. So we, we're looking at the optimization levels inside of our URL. We're then going to look and make sure, all right, we could say that this is yellow. This is the color, okay? I'm, I'm walking through a color and I'm going to number it, all right? If we're doing our URL, our next is the title, all right? How many words are in the title? What type of words are in the title? Are they using an exact? Are they just using partial? Are they using a co-occurring or an LSI term? I like co-occurrence more than LSI. I feel that those terms are misunderstood, okay? So I want to go to the next color. So we could say that that's going to be a purple, okay? And this is also number three. If we're going down the list, the next one is the H1. So we're looking at an H1 tag. In between the H1 tags, we're looking at our paragraph text. We then go down because each of these articles are supporting. So we have our title, our main idea. We're going to start talking about our main idea in the H1. The H2 supports the H1. All right. We're, it's the same concept working its way down because if we talk about something else, that's a new page. Okay. So we're moving down here. We have our H3. And then we're looking at each and every single element as its own particular. See, from H1 with the body content, this section right here, this is purple, right? This is, this is considered purple right here. So if I'm looking at this section here, okay, this matches with my H1 here. I have, the con I have my H1 tag and I have my content. That section, how is that weighted? How is that section graded against the top 10 rankers? How many words are they using? What's the optimization? How many partials? How many co-occurring words are they using? I, I hope that this <clears throat> theme is, we're, we're going down the list here. So we have our H3, we're, we're moving right down. So we have our H3. And then we need to start looking, all right, what kind of text is here? How many words? Is there co-occurring, exact, 
partials. And, and that's the main concept of this page. I, I want to go back up to the top because to give an understanding, and, and this is the point that I really want to make that I hope can help you with your over and your under optimization of a page. We need to not look at the entire page as one conglomerate, but we need to look at each section individually. I mean, we're getting down to very minuscule amounts of optimization, each tweak to win in 2020. We need the optimization levels to be at peak performance. Every single page, all pages, every word, every piece, smallest detail, that's what it takes. This is going to help you if you can look at a page and see, okay, here's my title. Here's my URL. Here's my H1 and my body content. If we're looking at each of these sections, all right, we're moving down. Okay, in these words, what's the optimization level? Okay, I could see the, uh, the heading tag two is this. I could see that it's this long. I could see that they're using bolds. Each of these elements are weighed differently. Now we're looking at our H4 and then we're looking at more content. So it's content as we're, as we're going down the page. Are they using an H5? Are they using an H6? How many are they using, right? Each tag, each element, each piece of text is its own standalone entity. That's exactly what the painted desert method is all about. It's understanding that a page is broken down into sections. We're also looking at optimization levels of, are there forms on the page? Are there lists and how many? Optimizations as far as images, how many? And then when we're looking at the images, not only are we looking at how many, we also need to understand is the alt text. That's what we're looking at when we're talking about optimization. We can even go down, we can go even more granule. Are they using videos? We're looking at each and every single element. Our URL is its own section. Our H1 in that body content is a section. The H2 with the content is a section. The H3. And inside of those elements, are there images? How many? What's the alt text? Are there lists inside of those elements? Where are the elements placed on the page? Are they using hidden elements? Are they putting keywords inside of a div tag? Are they, what are they doing? We also need to look at, and this is important, the anchor text on the page. Where is it going? Is it partial? Is it exact? This is another optimization that needs to be looked at. Looking at this bottle, if we start weighing each section by itself. So I hope that this has helped you with your over and under optimization levels. My name is Christopher Palmer. If you have any questions regarding on-page SEO, technical SEO, off-page SEO, any questions at all related to digital marketing or SEO, always feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next on-page SEO video. Have a wonderful day.